morning everybody this is Jean here from True Love Quilts for You today I'm going to be doing a tutorial uh, from my my little breakfast table here um, showing you my table runner that I've made my seasonal table runner I quite like this time of year I like the cold weather it's cold here in Pennsylvania um, and the fabric stores have um, seasonal fabrics cardinals and plaids and I just I just love it I really do we have a, a I have this cardinal uh, um, sort of centerpiece here. We have a cardinal that sits out here on holly bushes actually. It's funny. And this fabric that I have are the cardinals and the holly bushes. So that's my little um, fairly mini tutorial for today. You'll see what I mean because I've not explained in detail, detail, and depth how I do. I'm assuming at this, at this point hopefully you know how to make your half square triangles. Although I do explain it. I do give you the proper measurements. I do give you the sizes. The body of this quilt is half square triangles. You don't need a lot of fabric for this quilt. This actual runner makes up, I believe, about 52 inches long by about 16 inches wide. It's a decent size. And as you see in my tutorial to follow, I'm thinking, I'm saying you can make, you can add blocks, you can take blocks away by all means. But actually, I've waffled on a bit about adding blocks the actual measurements and the sizes that and the amounts that I give you of the fabric that I've cut are this size table runner 52 inches by 16 inches um, a little bit of sashing I used a little bit of sashing for the green sashing and then a bit of plaid for the backing and the um, the uh, border here just a two inch border actually it's a little bit wavy I thought I cut that straight Anyway, um, and I didn't actually quilt this really um, in depth. You could, you could, I just, as you can see, it's sort of a pole on a twist. I, I quilted the green pole, so, so your eyes see that um, in a vertical line. And then I just, I just twist, I just quilted around this twist, as it were. Um, I bound it with red, a red, and um, I've actually seen this pattern um, made up in quilt form. You just make up this unit, the center unit, and then you just make different ones. And you can do all sorts of configurations of color. You can do the darker background. This is the background fabric. This is the twist fabric. This is the pole fabric, as I've explained. You can do all sorts of different colorways, make it all sorts of different um, real striking pole or more of a subtle look, all half square triangles, which again, I've shown you how to do my half square triangles. These I am um, these ended up at about four and a half inches wide. So this center section is about 12, 12 and a half inches um, wide. You don't need this if you wanted to make it smaller, you don't need the outside border. You could just do one little tiny border. Um, if your table's a bit smaller, this is six units as you as I'll explain to you. I've done it in units. This is six units. You could have done it even four or five real versatile little pattern here um i really enjoyed making this um and i hope you i hope you enjoy my little tutorial again um i've not explained everything in precise detail as sometimes i do assuming that you now if you've been following me you're not a beginner 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 and you know exactly how to make a half square triangle but i've actually explained it to you um so i hope you enjoy this little uh tutorial for our um table runner our seasonal table runner here um yeah hope you enjoy it so again folks thanks so much for tuning in and watching see you later bye as i've talked about in my opening chat with you folks um i'm just changing this little tutorial up just slightly because you'll have seen my process um, as it's as I've constructed it as I'm as I'm going along and my thought my thoughts on how to do this now as you know if you've been following me I don't say buy half a yard of this or quarter yard of that because I'm pulling from my stash here you guys can figure it out um, my my thing is though you don't need an awfully lot of fabric to make this runner which is fabulous um, these are some of the fabrics I've pulled, my green, my, my gold and white dot, maybe a red, maybe a, a cardinal, and maybe a plaid. I'm not quite sure. I might even pull something else. But this is the beginnings of how I do things. 
Um, but for the very, very first thing, what you're wanting to do is, for lack of better, I'm, I'm referring to this as the pole. This is the green pole, right? The pole is green on my quilt here. The twist is my cardinal print. My pole print, my cardinal print. My background print is a cream and gold dot. Okay, so all we need for our main body of our, our quilt t table runner are three, three fabrics, our pole, our twist, our background. What you're wanting to cut, you're cutting seven inch squares. I find this rule, ruler, this Omni Grip, uh, it's an eight and a half inch ruler. I use a lot. I just line up my seven inch uh, lines here on my fabric and cut my seven inch squares. You're going to be needing from your twist fabric, my cardinal fabric, you're going to be cutting nine seven inch squares. This is going to be making, I think, about a 40, I don't know, 44, 46, 48, 40, I don't know, inch table runner with nine squares. Obviously you want to make it longer. You then can get a little, grab some more fabric and cut a few more squares. I'll show you how we construct these squares. You're going to be needing nine of your twist. You're going to be needing three, only three seven inch squares for this configuration. I think I'm doing it one more. I think this is the 40 inch. Three of your pole fabric. My green is my pole fabric three of them. You're going to be needing six seven inch squares of your background fabric. Now, as I said, I'm sorry, I can't show you how many more, but they're just seven inch squares. I mean, you know, they're seven inch squares. So if you're going to make it longer or even shorter, you can, you can figure it out. I'm starting out with this. Um, again, I don't know how it's going to end up. <laughs> Well, I've seen it how it's going to end up. So that's for whatever size it is. These are the config. These are the what you need for whatever size I'm making. <laughs> um, that's what we're going to cut out. Now, what we are wanting to do with our squares is we're going to be taking our six background white and our six twist fabric, and we're going to be stitching them together to make our half square triangles. Six white, six twist. Leave the green, leave the three green pole and the three twists to the side. What we're going to be doing is I've taken this over to my machine and I've actually stitched, as you've seen me do before, a quarter inch right alongside, right sides together, pretty sides together of these two fabrics. I've stitched a quarter inch right along each edge. Now you may be asking, well, do I, do I is it is it um, necessary to pivot? You know, go there and pivot. That's I've done that before. You can by all means go off the edge, start at the edge and go off the edge. Turn your turn it around, start at the edge, go off the edge. Turn it around, start at the edge, go off the edge. You by all means you can do that if you wish. Now what we're going to do is when you've created six of these, what we're going to do, oops. There goes my light again. Um, I have my handy dandy Fiskars ruler, as you know, and we're going to be cutting from diagonal to diagonal, both sides. And this is, this is, I just cut in, I just line my ruler up on the actual stitch line, not the corner. Um, it, it is on the corner, but I just go right to that actual, that actual stitch, as you've seen me do before, to create my half square triangles. And then with that, well, I have to shift my fabric. This isn't usually here, as you can, as you know. This isn't usually here, but this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm doing it today. I'll just line these up so they're perfectly aligned. You don't, you, the, my, the point is, you when you cut diagonal and diagonal, you don't want your fabrics to have shifted. So very carefully, stitch line corner to stitch line corner, I'm cutting that diagonal. And I end up with my perfectly done half square triangles, which is this unit here. Now, what we've done, as you know, you always set your seams and you press. 
you just roll this dark side up and you press it right along pressing it to the dark side after you've ironed all them all you're going to just come back and you're just going to take off that little dog ear there after they've all been ironed lovely and you have your background and your twist here however many however many you're going to be doing constructing your your um twist fabric and your pole fabric to create your pole you see whatever your colorways are exactly the same way you're going to have your twist fabric and your pole fabric three of each to create however big it is right sides together pretty sides together stitch a quarter inch right around cut them on the diagonal to make four of them and and you'll see that you don't need a lot of the pole and the twist fabric now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually keep my camera sort of rolling on this configuration because you could do it by by rows but what i've thought i'm going to do is i've figured out that it's much easier mentally to to construct or as it were to to um preview six blocks at a time so this this is a unit here we're going to be making a six block unit of our pole and then all we're going to do is just keep making six block units and just sewing them together and that's the body of your quilt done i mean it's 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 really easy so what you want to do is you want to make sure i'm going to keep the camera here so you can see where this twist is because sometimes i'm like oh, i don't know where it is i don't where oh where did it go so you need a pattern to follow so i'm just going to keep the camera going so you can just make this six unit block and again what you're going to do is you're going to put that one over to there stitch put this one to there stitch quarter of inch the same here and then you're going to just stitch these this unit together and however long or short you want your table runner that's how long or or or, or how many one two three four maybe i'll make five or six to make it a little bit longer of um our table runner body then i will audition different fabrics for maybe a small sashing um oh, and then a border it, 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 it'll yeah, I don't know what I'll, I'm going to do. I've got the red here. I don't know what I'll do. And I actually bought some braid. Um, I quite like that, which is the right or wrong side. I think that's the right side. Um, that's quite that's quite pretty uh, for a pretty evening table. Um, so I'm going to I'm just going to be stitching my units together, and I will I will show you how I've constructed that, how long I want it or how short, and then I'll come back and then I'll go to the next. I'll go to the um, next stage. So real quick, I'm, I'm sewing these, I'm sewing my six block units together. You have to be real careful. Look what I did. This top right hand corner is wrong. It should be the other way. So my trusty handy dandy seam ripper. This is where you'll want to pin. Um, so I, I need this block to go this way. All right, so there you go. I just have to unpin, unpin this. I didn't realize. I thought I was all clever and just zipping them along and I went to iron them this row together and um, I didn't even notice that but I notice it now it's very noticeable so I got to unpick that one <laughs> I've sewn my one two three four five six units together of six and I like this I'm sticking to my original uh, measurements the the nine the three and the six that's fine um and that's made about a 47 inch from this end to this end of the body uh table runner 
So that's six units that you've stitched together. Okay, now I'm auditioning fabrics for my... Uh, this is nice. It's, it's a, however wide it is. Um, for my table, this will end up... This is about, uh, about 12 inches. So I want it a little bit wider. So I, I cut out an inch of green. Um, I, I quite like that, to break up the white. And then I, I did really like this plaid with the holly berries that I got. Um, so I just cut that two inches. I might make this, a slight, this green slightly smaller. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I like that. I might make that green slightly smaller. But I like the plaid on the green. I like that. Now I'm looking at my... I did get enough. I've got a couple yards. I've had this couple yards of this gold braid. Ooh. Oh, I might do that. What do you think? Where is it? Is there front to back here? Or maybe not. Yeah, I think there is. I like that. What do you think? That, adds, that just adds a really uh, dressy touch. Yeah, I like that gold braid. Um, I wonder how you stitch that on. Just with a zigzag stitch, but I'll come to that. So anyway, that's that's going to be my table runner. I oh I um because I have quite a lot of fabric, I cut my borders on the length. I always get a little bit more fabric, as you know me. I get more fabric instead of on the width. But by the on the width, you only literally need a few inches, you know, and literally a few inches, and then you just cut the you just um sew the the uh, the um selvage ends together to make your long strip. Well, you'd have a seam in your border. I, I don't have, I don't, I have enough fabric that I don't, I just do this on the lengthwise grain down the whole length of the fabric and then I don't have a seam. But I could very easily um, have a seam on my sashing or my borders. Um, but there is my pretty, I don't know if I'll put that gold because I don't know how I'm going to do that. But anyway, there's my pretty uh, table runner. I guess it's going to end up about 50 inches, uh, maybe f yeah, 50 inches long, which I think is quite nice. Just a squared off corner. I'm just trying to think if I can make like a triangle corner, a triangle end. Eh, it's too hard. Anyway, I have my nice rectangle um, table runner. Um, and let me just figure out um, my, I like this, I like this effect. So let me just figure this out how I'm going to make it.